All right, hi, and happy Friday, everybody. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. So today we've got a nice new video for you here. So I don't know anybody's been watching the, uh, oh, the political circus, and it's hard not to get drawn in sometimes. You sit at a restaurant, and there, there it is going off in front of you on TV. So, um, but I found this interesting, it, kind of things that intercept with intellectual property law. I like to keep you guys posted on sort of the legal side of politics. So this involves Donald Trump, President Donald Trump. And he, you know, he has a Twitter, he has a channel with about 65 million people. And recently there was this, uh, what they're calling the Biden-Ukraine controversy, where Biden's son, uh, Hunter Biden, went out and supposedly all allegations doing some kind of deal with Ukrainian businessmen so forth and so on. And, and Joe Biden said, well, I don't, I don't know anything about his dealings. So Trump found a, somebody working for Trump found a picture of Joe Biden and Hunter Biden with this Ukrainian businessman. And a meme was made. I don't know if Trump made it or somebody else made it, but a meme was made. And we've done videos on whether memes are legal and you know they're parody, but you have to be very careful. This was uh, certainly a parody. But, you know, but you can still be subject to a DMC takedown. So what happened? He had a, the, the words, look at this photo. And then they used a clip from the Nickelback video um, behind it. You know, I'm not going to even try to sing the song to you, but something about look at this photograph, what's on his head or whatever. Anyway, so it was kind of a funny meme, you know, depending on which side of politics you're on. But it was, you know, memes are designed to be funny. I think they're funny either way, whatever side of the fence you're on. I think, you know, memes are designed to make people laugh and also bring some truth to the to the situation, whatever the case may be. So uh, Trump, you know, Trump, he posts a lot of stuff. Everybody knows he's a big Twitter guy. Um, but here's a I want to show you this tool. OK, this is a tool called Lumen. OK, and this is put together by Harvard University and I think in collaboration with some other people. But this is one of the newer sites that, that I have seen and reviewed. Um, I've done some searches on here, but I want you to see how you can go up and look a Twitter DMC takedown and look it up here. So I wanted to learn more about this takedown. Who did it? Was it Nickelback, the band? Some people said, well, it wasn't, you know, why would Nickelback care? It's like a very short video clip. It's, maybe it's even a fair use. Uh, we have other videos on keeping your, your videos legal, fair use on the Internet. Check that out, Attorney Steve Fair Use, great videos. Um, but this one was said to have been come from you know, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers obviously owning probably some of the rights to Nickelback. And so this is a tool, the Lumen tool here, is allow you just to put in, a, put in a band name, company. You could put anything in there. I just tried this search. Um, I don't totally love the database, but I think it's got some helpful information. I am trying to get full access to it. But simply you, you plug it in. Here it is. A DMCA notice to Twitter and you say okay here it is it's the Nickelback photograph so it was a photograph that there was an issue with and also I think the underlying music together but let's take a look here and this was sent by Gray Zone Inc on behalf of Warner Music Group so it does look like Warner Music Group initiated the takedown to Twitter now as if you don't know anything about DMCA law Digital Millennium Copyright Act this is what makes companies like Twitter immune from liabilities. You can't sue you can't sue Twitter for copyright infringement as long as they're playing by the DMCA rules. Okay, so um, so the DMCA Twitter gets a DMCA notice and they decide they you decide what's going to happen here. Okay, so let me let me go back here. Let's just take a look. So here you see a DMCA notice sent to Twitter Gray Zone on behalf of Warner. The recipient, private recipient, submitter, Twitter. You come down here. Here's your takedown notice. DMCA action taken, yes. Um, as we'll show you in a second, it was taken down. And so, uh, you know, if Trump wanted to argue fair use and try to make a big old case out of it, which I don't think he wanted to do, um, he probably could have. But I think it was a, you know, it's a close call on fair use. I always tell my clients, never rely on fair use. You don't want to end up court fighting your, fighting for your rights and fair use. Not to say you don't have a right, but there is a statutory right of fair use. But anyway, check out my videos. You want to know more about fair use? 
great videos for you. But here it is, the Nickelback claim. Here's the original URL. Now, Trump also has a White House YouTube channel. I don't know how many people knew about that. I actually didn't know about it. Um, but they had a, he has a YouTube channel. We'll show you that. And Twitter, two our URLs. I can't see the URLs on here, okay, because I don't have full access. I just sent an email trying to get full access. But there is a way. I don't know what the criteria is. There is a way to get your access, try to figure out and actually see these and see what they are. But to be short, it's URLs are taken down. These, um, th this meme was taken down. And so that's how the process works. But that's a little bit about, about Trump Twitter. It's a little bit about the Lumen database by Harvard. Very, it's cool, but I, I have to get full access to really be able to look at things and really provide an update. So I'll let you know if I get the update and how these notices look from a researcher standpoint. But that's about it. Hope you have a great Friday. You need help with intellectual property, DMCA, copyright, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, all these great social media channels. You need help with copyright issues. You know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com, the first name in legal services. Have a great Friday, y'all. Have a great weekend. Hope you watch some college football if you're a football fan like I am. And we'll be back again maybe this weekend. You never know. I might pop another video out, but more likely Monday. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.